You may never guess that in the heart of Detroit, you can find all kinds of outdoor adventures under one roof, rain or shine. The Michigan Outdoor Adventure Center is a place where you can experience fishing, hiking, even snowmobiling. The director of the center, Linda Walter, is here on behalf of our friends at the Michigan Wildlife Council. Uh, for people who have not visited the center, uh, what is it like? Good morning, Linda. Good morning. Um, we're like a little bit of all the different parts of Michigan, mm -hmm. kind of stuffed into a building right downtown on the river. How do, can you even achieve something like snowmobiling we have a, with, the <laughs> with a real snowmobile and a video screen of um, Upper Peninsula snowmobile trails. Ah. So you ride and you see. Very James Bond Q like as we yes. check out that scene right there, the little guy having a lot of fun. And uh, what is that there, a waterfall? You can walk under a waterfall, through a cave. You can stand inside a human scale eagle's nest and even pop your head inside a beaver lodge. So is this like a, uh, where's that place out at Great Lakes Crossing, like Rainforest Cafe? Is it sort of like that in the sense that you, you know, it's an enclosed experience, but you feel like you're outdoors? Exactly, enclosed, but you feel like you're outdoors. Hopefully inspiring you to want to go back outdoors once you've been there. And where is this again? We're on um, Atwater, 1801 Atwater, between Shane Park and the Renaissance Center, right on the river. Okay, you have a whole bunch of uh, different items here, uh, some seemingly unrelated to others, but we'll, <laughs> we'll figure that out. We have a big tub here. Um, what is in the tub? We're here talking about family camping because this week we're offer or next week we're offering camping programs. First time family camping needs some organization to be successful. And one of the things you have to do is protect your food. Otherwise, it's not a very happy experience. You see there are clips on here, mm -hmm. and you see my groceries are in there, and this will keep the critters of the forest outside of your cereal box so that you don't you aren't disappointed in the morning so it's not good for the animals to eat human food it's not good for you to share your food with the animals all right we have um, a water that's a foldable water carrier so that mm -hmm. unfolds and you get your water for drinking for washing things like that you're going to protect the food in your cooler with something hard for eggs something waterproof for butter that kind of stuff so that you can enjoy all the food you brought you know something I have only been overnight camping once in my entire life when I was at uh, camp in Ohio. Well, there you go. We are camping outside August 18th and 19th right downtown. Come and visit. Okay. How does one find out more about that? Um, you can go to our website and then check our newsletter. I think we're going to do the website a couple times, but michigan.gov slash OAC. Michigan.gov slash OAC. What do we have a close-up of here? That's our first aid kit. That's a really multi-purpose, lightweight, but it has a little something for everyone. There are bumps and bruises when you're outside. You should be ready. What's with the Duraflame Mini here? Starting a fire, having a campfire is part of the camping experience. Getting a fire started, fire starter helps a lot. Waterproof mass matches are a must. Sometimes it rains when you're camping, but you still need the fire. Okay. When uh, we're at the fire. Smoes. <laughs> some more as it is, some more as it is. And I like this for children with a family camp out because they're not metal. And so they, they burn into the fire and you can't step on those and get burned or hurt. And they're very, they're very environmentally friendly. Colorful fire. Now we're talking about fun. There are a couple of hacks that make this an exciting thing. This, don't tell the kids you have it. Put it in your hands, tell a ghost story, throw it into the fire, and the flames come out different oh, colors. Oh, that's very that's some next, memorable. That's very next, memorable. I feel like the dad's all just like, what, huh, what? I can throw <laughs> something in the fire? And speaking of fun. And speaking of fun, you low tech, get rid of all the screens. Uno at the picnic table, family stories and songs. That's what it's all about. What do we have here? You have to walk at night, either a night hiker to get to the restrooms. You can give every child Whoa. their own flashlight, Whoa. but wearing a headlamp is way more fun. So we have the headlamp for a couple of things, but a, a child will love to have their own headlight to walk in the dark. Wow, that is intense. You know, in the old days, that would have burned out the camera tube. Um, what is this? This is, this is so interesting. Great. This is my favorite camping hack. You don't want to buy a lot of equipment up front until you've camped, right? So you need a lantern. Lanterns cost $30, $40. This is the greatest thing ever. Repurposed juice bottle full of ice, and it can be clear water as well. And you use one of those headlamps, and oh, there's a camping lantern. No way. <laughs> give, give it up. A round of applause. <laughs> Come on, Linda, come on! <laughs> That's awesome. So it's fun. So we have 103 state parks. There are all kinds of lodging. Uh, uh, camp, you can run to camp or you can sleep in a teepee. You can be in a, you don't have to invest in equipment. And we have 103 great properties you should come and experience Michigan in.
If you would like to learn more about the Outdoor Adventure Center, visit the website michigan.gov slash OAC. And our friends at the Michigan Wildlife Center are working hard to help people learn about the importance of wildlife, conservation, and natural resources so they can be enjoyed for years to come. To learn more about their projects, visit their website, hereformioutdoors.org.